Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how you can grow sweet peas from seeds for your garden. The reason why I'm showing sweet peas is because sweet peas are give excellent bang for your buck. They start flowering here where I am in the middle of Ireland in around June and they keep going till first frost really if you look after them. And the looking after them is very little, you don't have to do very much. They're multicolors. The amount of colors you get out of them are fantastic. And the flowering season is one of the longest ones of something that you can grow from seed every year in your garden. Another good reason to think about growing sweet peas is that the seeds themselves are quite large and easy to handle. So for little hands that might be helping you in the garden, they're easier um, starting, they're easier for them to start. Another good reason is that you can sow them before pretty much anything else. So it's the middle of February now here. It's still a little bit early to be sowing anything else, but sweet peas uh, don't mind. So it's a good one. If you're dying to see a few green shoots coming up to cheer yourself up, sweet peas are the ones to start. So without further ado, I'm going to show you now how I grow them. And thank you for watching the video. My name is Rebecca and this is the Busy Woman's Garden. And I'd love it if you'd subscribe and see my other videos too. Okay, so here we are at the potting bench getting ready to sow the sweet peas. And what I use to sew them in is toilet roll holders, just ordinary cardboard toilet roll holders. I save them up from before Christmas as we're going along and keep them for this job. And the reason why they're particularly useful is that all peas, including the sweet peas, like not to have their roots disturbed. They tend to have very long uh, root systems. So if you plant them in these little cardboard toilet roll tubes, you can plant the whole tube into the ground when it comes time to plant them out. And you don't need to um, pop them out of a little pot. That said, I actually have potted them up in your regular seed tray pots before like this. And they've been perfectly fine. So um, if you haven't saved your loo rolls, don't worry about them. Uh, you can do them in those and they'll probably be fine. I've deliberately picked sweet peas because they're the pea that um, is the easiest one to grow. I think it's the, the, the least amount, uh, the most reliable seed that I know of. So I save them up and stack them inside each other like that so that they take up less room. And then when it comes time to planting them, I pop them pop, pop the soil in here and off we go so the first thing you need to do is do something to the bottom of the um toilet roll so toilet roll uh inside so that it doesn't let the compost fall out of it uh, you could just leave it like that and pour the compost in but the compost does start coming out of it over time and it's just messier um and it's easier just to do this so i get a little bit of um newspaper about that size so about the size of your hand scrunch it up into a little plug and pop it in the bottom and I find if you use one of the like I just have this from a, another plant I bought and um, to squash it down it stops it taking up too much room at the bottom of the thing and it's as simple as that um, the other thing if you don't bother with newspaper in your house like lots of us don't anymore the other thing you can do is a little bit of sellotape at the bottom it won't stop at all, but it'll stop some of it. And uh, that's the other one. Now, the only thing is when you do that, when it comes to planting them in the ground, you do need to take the sellotape off. And that's too much messing for my liking. So I prefer to just use the little bit of newspaper. Like I say, you could get away without using either one and it would be fine. So then it's time to fill it up with compost. So your options here are just ordinary multi-purpose compost is all I'm using. You could use special seed compost. I don't bother um, because I can't be bothered having two different types of compost in my house and they've never not germinated for me. So I've been fine. So ordinary multi-purpose compost. You can use something like this as a funnel, the top of a drinks bottle to get it in. Um, but to me, that's too much mess and I'd sooner um, just use my hand. I think it's quicker overall. And I don't think it makes that much more of a mess, really, to be honest. Um, tap them down a little bit because as you can see, the compost does settle quite a lot. On a few more of these, I'm going to tap them up before I start planting. So just pop them in. Um, don't squash the compost down because that compacts it too much. It just makes it harder for the little seedlings roots to um, 
reach down for the nutrients. So just tap it and it'll automatically kind of um, settle down itself. Okay, so that's fine now. So now you come on to the seeds themselves. So if you look at my other video about how to store seeds, I explain why I keep them in a brown envelope. Um, these are my own seeds that I collected from my own sweet peas last year. You can buy them in the shop easy. They're, they're one of the most widely available ones. Now, I'll get them out. So there you go. That's the sweet pea seeds. Hold on, I hold up a couple of them there. Oops, there you go. So they're that size. Oops, the daisy. <laughs> yeah, so that's the size of them there. Um, and they're quite large. So they're easy for handling if you have kids planting with you. My suggestion, these usually come in packets with hundreds usually in them. My suggestion is to plant two in each pot because, you know, you're, you're hedging your bets and you definitely will be um, taking one out. You know, you won't allow them both to grow to full maturity. They're going down about, I suppose, a centimetre and a half or what's that? I don't know, three quarters of an inch. So from the tip of my finger to the first knuckle is roughly what I would put them down. Pop them down. They can go in the same hole because you're only going to keep in one of them. And cover it over. And that's it. I use this for making the hole um, because if you use your finger, it tends to squash the uh, compost down too much, I think. And you just pop them all in. Like so. So one of the reasons why um, I get a, I really like these is the smell of them is beautiful. I'm popping two into every hole there. Um, you don't have to fuss too much about the depth of the hole. They they really are not difficult to grow. So the scent of these are beautiful and they love to be cut. The more often you cut them, the more they come. It's the cutting of them that kind of encourages further growth. So another benefit of them. You easy to lose track. And as you can see, this is a job that children would find easy. It's not um, difficult. And the collection of the toilet rolls and all that is something that they can get involved in too my girls um, and they, they enjoy them because these are so pretty they will see them for the whole year it, it, you know it, they're a plant that you can enjoy over the whole summer okay and that's it That's it. All the, the, all the little sweet peas are planted now. All the seeds are in. So I'm just going to give it a water. And so you're going to give it one really good water to get going. And then after that, it's just about keeping it moist. Okay, so I bring those into my house and I keep them on a, a bright windowsill that's not in direct sunlight and they'll take about a couple of weeks to germinate and as soon as they kind of get to any size like you can bring them outside. So I know I'm planting these in a greenhouse, you definitely don't need a greenhouse to grow them. I've always grown them even when I never had a greenhouse. So I will bring them inside and keep them on a windowsill so I can keep an eye on them. Just a word to the wise that if you don't like the look of the toilet rolls on your windowsill, um, maybe plant them in the other pots because they do get a bit messy looking after a while. So if that annoys you, you've been warned in advance. And I will follow up with more videos later on in the season when they sprout and what you do with them next and how long you wait before you plant them out. 
So I hope you enjoyed that. I'd love to hear about your sweet peas. I'd love to see pictures of them. If you're not already in my Facebook community, please join because yeah, I love seeing how everyone's getting on. And I look forward to catching up with you again soon. Thanks a million and don't forget to subscribe. Take care. Bye bye.